Today I'm going to use this box of Atissa Paint. It has 60 watercolor. It's a premium. AP means it's not toxic. It's safe for everyone. So this is all the color including over here. Red and yellow ogre. And maybe also we need a black color. We're going to open this. Whoa. That is good. And I'm going to have the yellow ogre. And I'm going to have uh, a red color. There's lots of colors. It has a black over here. And I probably have a little bit red. I'm going to have the red color. Uh, That's good. That's what I'm looking for. I'm going to take this red. I will have the link also to Atissa's this page. You can, if you want, you can find your own box as this color. Even though it came with 60 colors, but you can choose just two or three colors from it and to finish the painting. Okay. Let's start the painting. I'm going to have this around the plate and like a matching the shape of the color. And first I'm going to put this yellow ogre. I'm going to put it right over here. It's just a little bit. That's fine. Okay. You don't need to put out too much colors. It would be a little bit waste. Uh, even the watercolor, you can use it again and again. Uh, even after you drive, you can use the water to moisture it and then you can use it again. And the black color right over here. That's very good. I'm just going to use this small calligraphy brush. Here you go. I can use any watercolor brush. That's fine. Soft brushes. That's they're all good. Now I just use the water to soft the brush. Now, here you go. His, I'm going to put a little um, shadow color first, which is, can be with this yellow ogre with a little black color. And mostly in my regular paintings, I use the three primary colors, which is yellow, red, and the present blue color. And it can mix for any colors. So you can try that. Uh, if you just take only three color, what three colors that you need. And I have lots of uh, video lessons on the channel, Enjoying Art. As the whole address is youtube.com slash enjoying art. You can find them. First, I'm going to put this red color at the butt. It's a little bit more red like that. And here you go, like that. Okay, that's good. I'm going to put this color over here too. And before I going to uh, soften, spread the color. Okay. I just put it in this, to these two areas. And I'm going to just put the yellow color and make it a little bit nice, bright color over here. Okay. And at the bottom over here, I also have a little bit and coming reflected by the wood have a little color like this and that's good now i'm gonna wash my brush just remove some of the wet you don't have to have too much water so i'm just going to spread the colors it's so easy right spread the color and that's it oh same thing over here spread the color a little bit just use water that's nice and the same thing over here, spread the color a little bit. And now just use the water again. I'm going to make this a little bit lighter. Okay, like this. And I'm going to spread the color a little bit on to the cheek on this side, make it a little bit softer. Okay, the color looks good. 
Now, next thing I'm going to do, it's just going to use a little bit more black, just the black with water. Now, I'm going to just put the color in the shadow of the ear, like that. That's good. Like this. Now, it's showing. It's actually turning around because any places that are against to the light, it was showing a little bit darker. So, on this side, too. And this side, a little bit darker. And coming over here, also the face, the bottom, also a little bit darker, like that. Okay. Now the face look rounded. It looks good. Now, here you go. And inside the ear over here, just the water with the uh, black color. Okay, like that. Now I need to use the water. Just use the water and remove some of the water, just need some of this. I just have the brush here coming out, so you can see, you see that? It looks like the hair. And actually over here, uh, his head turning a little bit and then turning forward. So I'm going to, okay, a little bit softer, like that, having the hair, bring the color around, I'm going to come back over here to give a little bit more over here. It's showing this is not really smooth. It actually turn and then come over. I'm going to just use the hair to suggest, use the brush here, <laughs> suggest the hair on the, search the fur. Now I'm going to have a little bit of the brown color actually seeing inside the ear over here. And maybe over here too. And now get a little bit darker. And put over here like that. And also this area, I can make it a little bit darker like that. Because that is the bottom of the, uh, the area the actually turning away from the light. So I'm going to come back to do the little bit more on the face later. I'm going to have the little red color put it under the mouth over here. And actually, not just that, I'm going to have a little bit black color too, so you can uh, make it a little bit darker red color, like that, like this. Now I'm going to use the water to soften this. Like that, that's good. Now I'm going to get away from the face. I come back a little bit later. Uh, now I'm going to have a little bit darker color coming over here because this is is at the bottom, at the shadow, right? So it should be a little bit darker here, like this. Even darker. Okay. Just think about if it's too dark, it's okay. It's just uh, Use the water to lift it up. And I'm going to put some darker color over here. A little dark color on the gap over here. Now, I'm just going to use just the, the brush. Just use the water. Now I'm going to have this. Make the hair a little bit softer. And the same thing over here. Like that. A little bit softer. Like this. Good. Spread it around a little bit. Like that, that's good. You see how easy to make the suggestions of the hair. Now here you go. Now I'm gonna have even darker. Just tap a little bit over here, that's good. And that's good. And inside the ear here, a little bit darker. And over here, a little bit darker, like that. Oh, that's good. That's already good. Now coming down at the bottom over here, I'm going to continue to get the black color over here. Here you go. That is really dark because that is is very dark shadow. Okay. Have over here too. A little big dark shadow. Now I'm going to do the same thing. And just the water have this little dark color. I'm going to continue to spread the color coming out here. And in fact, I'm going to have a little bit edge and showing the edge of the, the fur of this arm, like that. Here you go, like this. 
I'm gonna leave this a little bit lighter so you can see the difference and the separation. And I'm coming over here and also give a lot of suggestions. There is another layer in the back. That's good. Now, what I want to do, I'm gonna come to the other side, coming over here like this. And also leave a little Y shape for the light like this. Here you go. Okay, now use the water. It's not a lot, too much water. Too much water, it would make it uh, too light. Okay, I'm gonna have a little bit of color over here, like showing the suggestions of the lake. Okay, here you go, like this. A little bit tuck over here. It's a separate. That's good. Now, the finger here. Also, have a little bit darker, a little here, okay, like that. Okay, this finger too. And that's good. And a little bit of separation of that. Oh, this is good. I'm gonna have this also. Draw a few lines over here, like that, if you can. If you have this click of your brush, if really, can help to uh, draw all the smaller, smaller lines, smaller shape. That's no problem. Okay, uh, I'm gonna wait a little bit longer before I come back to the face. But right now, maybe I add a little bit dark color over here because I want the face separate. I see the distance between the face and the ear. Like that. That's good. Now I'm gonna paint the tree. And first I'm gonna add a little bit shadow to the finger here. Like this first. Okay. A little bit. Wow, what the tree look like? It's brown color. So I'm gonna have this black and the red and this are already brown okay like this even darker that's good maybe a little bit red so you just have fun playing with the color and yeah, maybe a little bit more red okay now i'm gonna come back here let's see okay the colors not just are uh, what color is it also you can see how dark is the color by seeing is some color darker and some color is lighter. And it's not just the color. You sometimes you think about how much water you need to add to the color, right? And like this. That's good. Okay, filled in the space over here. And then coming down. Over here, I'm going to do the shadow side later. Okay, after this, I'm going to paint it around the crawl so I can actually suggest that it's really light. That's the light shape, it's almost there, almost done. You can see some people like to paint into the eye first because they really care about the eye. Okay, it's okay, no worry. And just follow the process and just from big, general to smaller and smaller, like over here. It's very enjoyable process. Painting around over here like that. And some people ask me is, how do you get that brush? Okay. If you really want to have this brush, if you're a member of the Enjoying Art community, or your parents are, uh, you can get this 
with this count from enjoying our website. We have a link in the web in the community. Okay, over here. So this side is a little bit darker. The other side a little bit lighter. Now I'm gonna have a little bit darker color. Here you go. Now this is the shadow, right? Now I have a little bit furry over here, showing a little bit like that. That's good. Now this is much darker. Like that. There you go. And also under here. Like that. So you can show there is actually the finger, the claw. It actually catch the shadow. Okay, here too. And the top over there, I did not paint the brown color because it looks a little bit um, gray color instead because that is coming from the sky and the color a little bit colder. And here you go. I'm gonna have this a little bit darker color here, separate it. And then you can also start painting the craw, but we can wait a little bit longer. And now at this point, I'm going to uh, also add some dark color over here, some dark color over here. And we do the cross a little bit later. And maybe we're gonna use the black color to draw a little bit of those uh, texture of the wood like that slowly okay you can do it just draw slowly slowly okay that's good you can have a little bit more dark color like this okay like that there you go just a few lines now it looks like a wood, right? It's amazing. Okay. Now I'm gonna come back to do the eye and finish the face. So the eyes also have brown color, but have a little bit more yellow, a little bit more uh, black. So I'm gonna take this color first, apply it inside the eye. Okay, just paint around that white dot. That's the highlight. Make it look more like a rounded. Okay. And also on the other side, the other side a little bit darker. Like this. Like that. I'll come back uh, to apply some uh, darker line around. It will be easy. So, That's good. Now come up with a little bit, uh, just the black color. Now come, let's take a look at the mouth. Right now it's already dry. And some people say watercolor is so, so difficult. It's watercolor is not difficult. It just need patience. If you don't have patience, maybe watercolor is difficult for you. Okay, like that. Now the mouth looks good, but the inside over here, I'm gonna have a little bit more red. So a little bit darker, a little bit more red right over here. It's not red enough. Oh, that's good. But I need to lift up some areas under here. I'm gonna have a little bit lighter over here like that. That's good. Now, marvelous. Now I'm gonna draw the nose. Now I'm gonna paint the area over here on the top a little bit line. Now that's good. Now I'm gonna see, I'm gonna have a little bit, just a little bit color over here first. Like that. I come back to do a little more because right now the bottom over here also wet. So I'm going to tap over here. I'm going to put a few lines like this. Like that. That's good. Now, maybe I come back after I finished uh, the lake. So 
when you're painting, you're always like a hang around and one place and then stop it and go to another place. So I'm going to have the black color because this is already dried. Now put the dark color over here for the shadow. And now put the crawl over here. That's a one tap. That's easy. Okay, like that. I'm going to have it over here. Like a, look, one tap. I'm going to leave, even leave the highlight on the top over here. And showing, that's the, that's the toe. Okay, over here on this side, here you go. Now that's good. Like that, and one more on this side, like this. That's good. Okay, like that. On this side, it's easy. Just make this, it's a little bit darker. Draw it. And if you can leave the line, the white in the center, that will be great. And on this side, it's the same. Leave the center, have a little bit uh, white. Like that. That's good. And one more. really sharp and now we'll put the shadow underneath like that that's good and I maybe have a little bit gray color just have it a little bit softer over here so it's not just white it can be a little bit gray now on this side I can also make it a little bit darker color, so so make the uh, the toe can pop up a little more. Now I see that because the contrast, the contrast is very important. Right, good. That's good. And the finger on the top over here. Here you go. Come back over here. Okay, leave the white and the top. Okay, a little bit darker. Painting around. This is how much you can control. Okay, and over here. And I think curve a little bit because they're very strong. Okay, like that. I'm gonna have a little bit brown color on this side. So make sure it look like parked up the arm. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm gonna come back to finish the face. Now it's always like a going around and you can come back a little bit later, right? Now I'm gonna finish the eye first and just get the dark color. And there is some shadow in the eye. So that's why because the eyelid is is blocking some light into the eye now here you go that's good now the inside over here I'm gonna have a little dot that's good that looks like a beautiful eye now take a look on this side like this here you go a little bit dark Inside the eye. Okay. Ooh, that's beautiful. Now I'm gonna come to the nose, and then over here, they'll be darker. See, so make the nose a little bit bigger, like that, and actually rounded at the bottom, like this. That's good. Oh, and the corner of the mouth, like that. It looks good. And I'm gonna make make it look a little bit more happier. Okay. Uh, now I want to have a little bit color around the eye, so maybe a little bit red, like that, from the outside over here. Don't touch too much inside the eye. And okay, a little bit. Uh, 
black and here you go it has a little bit corner like this and also with this color i'm gonna paint it around the outside i can wash this color a little bit more outside now i see the make it feel like some uh, white shape around the eye but actually i did not put that white color over there i just make the outside a little bit darker okay like that that's all the trick and on the face i'm gonna have a little bit darker color right here like this ah uh, that's probably too dark so i'm gonna just use the water just let it go a little bit soften it okay the face coming down like this and also the bottom over here i look a little bit darker because is whole face look like a ball like that and the other side this side over here like that a little bit and here you go a little bit darker over here too oh this definitely look like a very lovely uh, ball okay and up here now I'm gonna have I'm gonna open up the brush hair a little bit like this and I'm going to to see if I can make some like a hairy feeling okay that's good that's right I did it looks good okay over here too like that ah oh, looks very realistic isn't it Good, good. Okay. And also on the tree over here. Like that. And I think this cool is finished. Now this is your turn. Follow it step by step. You can do the same. And hope you have fun. And also in the comment, tell me what you think. And what would you like to paint next?